Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. This loading screen has confirmed our suspicions. A promo with only icons and heroes as the main part of it is coming to FC24 tomorrow. And yes, it is the Golasso promo, guys. That's what we're going to be covering today, talking about all the latest news, leaks, and information to get you guys ready for what this promo is going to look like. And as well, talk about the last day of Ultimate Birthday content. It's been a crazy two weeks of this promo with all the Evos, SBCs, objectives, and everything. And it comes to an end today with one final player SBC. And we'd also be remiss not to talk about EA's crazy mistake yesterday that turned r lots of random cards into goalkeepers. Yeah, and they're still on the market even though EA said they fixed it. So a lot to go over in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content, which really wasn't that crazy, especially in the SBC section. We had the Evan Ferguson twin SBC that was released. One five-star skills, one five-star weak foot. He's got first touch plus and power shot plus. This is the five-star skills version. Stat-wise, it's not bad. He's 88 rated. You can use him in the cup if you're trying to finish off those games. Really good shooting stats. 96 finishing, 95 attack positioning. A solid fun card, right? Basically, this is what it is. It's a fun card that if you are a Brighton fan or if you just want a Prem striker to use in the cup or just to try somebody different, this is a decent card. He's 40,000 coins. It is one squad to do, which is very nice. I mean, 40,000 coins, most of that coin value is coming from the fact that there's a team of the week required. It's an 82 rated squad, so it's very easy to get done if you want to do either or both of those SBCs for an 82 squad and an inform again kind of like luca bakio not as expensive but an 88 rated card that if you have a bunch of informs laying around you may want to just get that spc done it's just high rated fodder you can chuck away in the club save for a later date or an evolution at a later date as well so nothing crazy there again all the twin spcs we're just not that crazy during these last two weeks of ultimate birthday. Let's talk about the other content that we had yesterday, which was actually evolutions. Two crazy evos were dropped yesterday, and they're crazy because they're making prices go bananas on the market. Silver cards are going crazy. It is a double playstyle plus upgrade and a plus 16 overall boost for silver cards that can also get five star skills or a five star weak foot, depending on which evo you put them into. This this Evo, guys, this is cool. We love Evos like this, especially when they're free. There was like that glow up Evo that was out a couple of weeks ago, and that was a hundred thousand coins. This one is free. We absolutely love that. Um, and it takes your player from no play styles and obviously unusable stats, it takes them into a pretty meta card. If you take a look through a few of the cards that are in here, this Juan Wee Joe as a Premier League Nottingham Forest striker is one that I've waited in my club to be able to Evo for a while. Technical plus and first touch plus with 90 shooting and 91 dribbling and 89 pace as well and five star weak foot. That is a really incredible stat upgrade. It definitely makes the cards usable, right? It makes a silver card usable and that's the fun in this. Uh, and again, the fact that it is free. The other play style pluses that you get for the central midfielders Evo, the radioactive precision is the intercept and the incisive pass, which I think Personally, they're both pretty good, but I think the center mid evos may be a little bit better. Like, take a look at this Darlington Nagby that I can create. Uh, 86 pace, 92 dribble, 85 physical. He's obviously going to be a five-star weak foot player as well because he's a midfielder, going to need that, that weak foot to pass. 99 agility, 98 composure, 99 short pass. So it is cool. The downside to this is, as you can see when I'm looking at the stats of these cards as I put them in, yeah, there are some really cool ones. Fabio Carvalho is one that looks really good um, in the Evo. Once you get him to his final form, 90 rated. He's three-star, five-star, high medium work rates, 88 paces, I'd say, and 91 dribbling um, with the two play style pluses. But again, the problem is a lot of these silvers don't have very many play styles on the cards themselves. So that's kind of a downer to this, in my opinion, but this is just for fun anyways. I mean, for most of us, these are cards that maybe maybe not going to our teams, but it's just a fun card to go ahead and to use. There's really not a whole lot of Evo combinations that you can do here either because it gives two play style pluses and a lot of Evos, obviously you can't put a player in who's got multiple play style pluses. Just a couple cards to show you that are going bananas for this. Guys, check your club, okay? There are cards, as Footbin's having trouble loading for me right now. I don't know what's going on with Footbin, but there's been some issues loading some of these Evo cards. Check your club for some of these silver players because 
they're going crazy. Like this, this Alessandrini is actually not possible to create. It's not loading the right for me right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, this 90 rated Alessandrini is not possible to complete. The one you do from putting Alessandrini in the Evo is, uh, it's like 88 or 87 rated, I think, from this. But make sure you check your clubs, guys, because these cards are going crazy, crazy high in price. Again, I can't even search Alessandrini right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, but cards like Matisse Tell, Alessandrini, there were so many cards. Um, I think even um, Pop Matasar from Spurs was going for like 10,000 coins. A lot of players from the top nations, the top clubs, the top leagues. If you have something in your club that is tradable, check the price on it. There was actually one striker that I had um, for the Radioactive Dynamo Evo. I think it was uh, Brenner. Yes, this Brazilian striker is actually somebody who's gone up a lot in price on the market. 91 pace, 87 shooting, and 93 dribbling. That's a pretty good looking card right there. He's going to go to five-star skills as well. So check your club for silver cards. Again, top five leagues, top clubs. Those are what's most popular through that. It is a W Evo 100% because it's free, and you get to create some really, really cool cards from it. Now... Let's talk about this goalkeeper mistake. And let's first actually go to the end and what happened because it describes it really well. Um, what happened yesterday with this goalkeeper mistake. EA tweeted, earlier today, there was an issue in which some team of the week and ultimate birthday player items were incorrectly appearing with the goalkeeper position. They said this issue has been addressed and the impacted items are now appearing correctly. But, as you may well have seen, if you go to the market and search for goalkeepers with playstyle pluses, it actually shows you cards that are still on the market. An Inform Valverde goalkeeper card with messed up stats. You've got two Raspadores here, uh, one for 1.9 million coins, the other were for 1.899. And guys, you can tell what people have been doing with these cards. 114 different owners for this Raspadori. When this first happened yesterday, people were out on the market, myself included. I tried this. It looked like a compensation situation as these cards were coming up as goalkeepers. Of course, it's fresh in our memory, the whole situation with Yaya Toure, right? And all that had gone on with that card and uh, Schneider as well and the compensation of giving coins back. So the prices of all these players soared. They were extinct, right? On the market because everybody was sniping them, buying them, and then selling them to to try to get that compensation to hit. I actually bought a Bukayo Saka goalkeeper card. Um, his, his, his card, like I, I saw it on the market. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's a Bukayo Saka goalkeeper card. That is absolutely crazy. So I bought it and I sold it for basically the same price that I bought it just to see what would happen. Now, again, as EA has said, this was not like, it was a visual issue because the way they worded this, the issue has been addressed and the impacted items are now appearing correctly right when you actually put the card into a team somebody did this on a share play yesterday on stream they had a tony cruz goalkeeper card when you put the card into the team it said that it didn't get chemistry and it really wasn't a true goalkeeper so it's it was it was basically a visual glitch but still it was one of those scenarios where you, you didn't know if there was going to actually be compensation or not so for me i was like man i missed out on the yaya i'm gonna give it a try so i bought the Saka, sold them for the same price lost tax but it would have been worth it if there was compensation right anyways that's that whole situation there um and yeah that's that's the whole situation to be completely honest i know some people that bought those cards at max price uh actually did end up getting coin wiped which for me right now i still have coins which are good i don't want to have the whole situation again i was just trying to do it more so for fun rather than anything else i put the Saka in my club and then i was like yeah i probably don't want to have four million coins in this car so i sold it uh but yeah that was the situation yesterday there and the cards are still on the market even though they said in the tweet that impacted items are now appearing correctly so i think the items that were messed up will maybe forever be messed up or I don't know. That's a really weird one. I, I don't think I've ever seen something like that. But also you had pictures like this of a goal, goalkeeper, Marco Royce. They were everywhere yesterday. It was absolutely crazy. Now, speaking of compensation, I think EA is going to be getting close, guys, to doing the Yaya and the Schneider compensation from last week that made things go crazy with the fantasy cards. And um, I, I said that I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. And I do want to talk about it right here, right now, because whenever they do this compensation, Whenever they give out the coins for those people who bought the Yaya Toure's for Premier League, right, or the Eredivisie Schneiders, guys, the market is going to have a 
very quick, probably spike. Whenever they give those coins out, I imagine it's going to not take a lot of time. They're going to give them out over like an hour period and just going to be boom, coins appear if you were impacted by that, if you're getting compensation. And it's going to make the top tier most meta cards on the market probably jump up in price very quickly for a short amount of time. And then they will stay inflated. Then they might drop down a little bit after that, but it's probably going to be really crazy. It's going to be like a big spike as everybody who gets the coins goes out and buys on that top tier stuff. And then it'll stay inflated, but might dip down from that peak. That's just kind of what I'm looking for because that could be coming soon as EA has been doing. It seems like they've been working on their compensation stuff recently. Um, they've, they've been working on the uh, weekend league rewards with the campaign mixed players pack that were messed up. I've heard a lot of people getting those picks back and even some extra ones. So I think EA has been working on that for sure. Now, Let's get into the big news. This is why we're here today, right? We're here to look forward to what is happening on Friday tomorrow with this brand new Golazo promo. And we did get the loading screen yesterday, again, with new promos, because technically this is a new one. Usually on Wednesdays, we get a brand new loading screen, and this time we did. And uh, man, I got to say, the car design for the hero is growing on me. The icon design, it looks all right. But it's definitely growing on me. A lot of people are joking about it and they're like, yo, it's the in and out sign. Like it looks like the in and out fast food uh, chain sign, which, okay, I can kind of see it there a little bit. But I think the design is decent. Um, but it does, it does confirm with these two designs on the loading screen that this is kind of what we thought it was. This Golasso promo is a lot like Trophy Titans from last year. It's only going to be heroes and it's only going to be icons. And we have more leaks of players that are going to be involved, including a really massive icon. But starting off with a hero and a little bit more about this promo, which we expected too, Okocha is coming as a Golasso hero card. And also it's leaked that he should have two versions or twin versions of his card, which is evidently going to be the same thing for multiple other cards. Again, we don't know how they're going to do this. Are they going to change weak foot, skill move? Are they going to change the league? Are they going to change play style pluses? That sort of thing. We don't exactly know how this is going to be based. Is it going to be based on like certain performances or certain times in the career, right? Kind of like how we had the two different versions of Thierry Henry for the icons, right? We had one of the skills that was like younger Thierry and one with the weak foot that was a little bit older, advancing his uh, career, Thierry Henry. How is that going to work with these cards? We don't exactly know, but we know Okocha is going to be coming as a Golasso Hero card. That was one of the bigger leaks that happened yesterday from FIFA Trading Romania. Now we have some other leaks still. We, we talked about the Johan Cruyff, the Alawaren, who's actually going to be an SBC. We've covered that. We know Ginola is coming as an impacts card in this team as well. A couple more players that have been confirmed. Van Persie, he's going to be a two-version player in the Golasso promo. Like, I don't know how these cards are going to look with, with the pace and stuff like that, but it does a lot remind me of the Trophy Titans last year that we had, the really expensive Fernando Torres and the really cheap Fernando Torres that like everybody packed. He was an 80, whatever, 88 rated fodder card. It was so cheap on the market. I'm getting those sorts of vibes from a player like this Van Persie, but he has leaked. That could be a really nice card. We've got Berbatov and Marquez as well, both leaked to be in this promo team too. Um, we needed some specials for them, but I have to imagine that both of these cards are probably going to be some of the cheaper and more packable versions. And that's the whole question with this, right? It's like, man, how many times have I actually packed a hero or an icon this year off of the market from a normal pack? It's not very easy to do, right? Well, this promo is going to make it a lot easier because these are promo icons and promo heroes. And like we talked about yesterday, the weight is going to be juiced for them compared to normal icons and heroes. EA has to make these cards seem semi-packable like a normal promo for there to be interest because if they weren't, you know, the interest would just die off pretty quickly. So Rafa Marquez actually might be pretty juiced. So we'll just have to see how that card ends up being in game. And uh, the biggest leaked name player that was dropped yesterday is Bobby Charlton. It's about time. That Charlton, Sir Bobby, gets himself another icon version. He has not had a single card this year except for his base icon, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he had a Centurions. For some reason, I think that he had a Centurions, but I don't believe that he did. Or if he did, I'm just forgetting about it. Um, this is going to be a massive card. His card, this one, I still see Bobby Charlton's prime card in Weekend League. Four-star, five-star, 90 pace, 91 shooting, 91 dribbling, 87 passing with power shot plus. He's a very, very, very good card in game. This card, if he, I hope he gets a little bro version. I can't lie. Like imagine an 89 or a 90 rated Charlton with just slightly reduced stats. 
double playstyle plus that would maybe make this card price drop, but it would be a more packable, cheaper version of Charlton that people who don't have a lot of coins would be able to use, but then also a really juiced 94 Charlton like this with insane stats, two playstyle pluses, like that sort of thing. That's a big one. That's a card that I think a lot of people are going to be excited to use, and that's really the hype with this promo, to be completely honest, is new icon versions and more affordable icon versions for maybe somebody that you haven't used. Um, I remember last year there was a Van Basten that I packed the first weekend because, again, the pack weight's semi-decent, right? It was a Van Basten with, like, 96 shooting, and he actually had pace, and his dribbling was juiced, and it was a really fun card to use for that weekend, and he was only a couple hundred K. That's the hype with this promo is that it's bringing icons that'll be affordable, that'll be boosted and juiced it, right, on the market, that'll be fun to try out and fun to use. So that's my hope is that this promo is going to bring some really nice and fun cards kind of like some of the foot birthday icons like uh right was a really cool card or sanchez really cool card and pretty cheap i'm thinking that's going to continue with of course this golazo promo but my only question is of course with all of the ultimate birthday cards that we had it was either five star skills five star weak foot or both that is not probably going to be a requirement for this next and upcoming set of icons and heroes that we're going to have released in this game. I think that could actually detract from the hype. Every single car that we've been released onto this game in terms of the birthday cards for the last two weeks has had one or the other, either a five-star weak foot or five-star skills. And I think without that being one of the requirements, it could make the players that are dropped on the game this weekend a little bit less hype in that way. So it's going to be like cool because there's new icons, but I could also see this being a promo where it's like, hmm, do these cards really go straight into my team unless it's just one that I want to try for fun? So I hope that it's good. I hope the boosts are good. I hope the pack weight's decent. Um, and there's going to be excitement because it's icons. But that is one thing I wanted to mention is, it's, it's again, that's why I'm still opening like all my packs. I have an 83 times 20 sitting in the store right now that I'm, I'm going to be opening today during the five-star best of team two and still with ultimate birthday going on because i'd rather have a chance at packing some of these cards and the icons than i think um it'll be better to do that than to save for the new promo we'll be able to do player picks for the new promo all weekend maybe i'll save an 84 times five from today just to have a couple of packs for friday but i think it's better to go all out right now and open your rewards especially from like rivals today than to save it now speaking of packs there have been a couple of packs that have been added to the code Best in show, best in shooting, player pick. Uh, that seems very interesting. It's all items guaranteed 80 and above in shooting. And then here's the really, really massive pack. Supreme Golazo guarantee is an 85 times 50 with two guaranteed 87 pluses. That's a big one in there. And of course, it includes a Golazo hero or icon. And then we have a Supreme Golazo pack, which is an 85 times 60. There's some other Golazo packs that are in there. Another guaranteed Golazo. Um iconic 88 plus pack which includes a base icon 88 plus and then an 81 times 11 then you've also got i want to look at this one right here an 86 plus encore hero pack contains one base triple threat ucl or fantasy hero rated 86 or above remember the base icon uh the encore icon upgrade spc that came out a couple of weeks ago that was a really cheap unlimited repeatable encore icon pack i think that's what this is i think we're going to get this sbc on saturday or sunday and it's going to be unlimited repeatable and it's going to be cheap it has to be dirt cheap if it's going to include base heroes and be 86 plus that's probably not an sbc that we're going to want to do but i'm talking like this needs to be an 85 rated squad no inform like that's how cheap it needs to be type of thing uh it's probably not going to be that cheap um, do I want to invest in informs for it? Not really. But if informs are required, will they go up? Probably a little bit, but it's not going to be as much as the icon because again, icons greater than heroes this year in this game, 100%. But I want to point that out because I see that coming in the future. And then also an 84 times seven rare gold players pack that could be in the store. That could be an SBC. Really don't know too much about that one, but that is some new pack code that has been added. That'll be a part of the Golasso promo for sure. So yeah, guys, that's kind of the update on the Golasso promo. It's uh, again, it's hype because it's icons, but it's also kind of like, I think the foot birthday cards are going to end up being maybe a little bit better than some of the icons in terms of stats and in terms of hype, because they've got the five-star weak foot or the five-star skill 
that is a guarantee. I'm not saying that though and thinking that I'm going to invest in birthday cards. I'm definitely trading with some of these and I've been doing a decent amount of trading. You can see my coins are low, right? I think today after Rivals Rewards is going to create a really interesting opportunity for trading with these cards in the market. And we'll talk about that in a second. Actually, let's talk about that right now. Rivals Rewards today. Thursday. Let's get into today's content and what's going on right now in this game. Of course, some of you watching this video have maybe already opened your Rivals Rewards. I finally got the reward upgrade. We're going to Division 4. Finally actually played enough games to get myself out of Division 5 into 4. And again, it is the big packs that are coming today. But one thing that we learned last week is a lot of people take the tradables. And that does two things. Number one, it supplies the fodder market, right? With all of those 85 and 84 plus and even 86 and 87 plus packs that are guaranteed in these rewards, people are taking the tradables to try to hit something big and hit it tradable so they can sell it. It's probably going to make 85s and above drop even lower today after the reward time frame. It happened last week. I can imagine it happening again this week uh, because still a lot of people are going to be playing division rivals. But on the flip side, what it also did was it made last week foot birthdays from team number one go up. They were actually lower before rewards and then they went up afterwards because people used those newfound coins that they got from getting some pretty good tradable rewards and making coins from that and they went out to the market and they bought some of these cards and right birthday cards from team two especially if people are expecting uh, this new promo to maybe not be quite as good in terms of player quality with the five star skills and weak foot cards in team two here. Uh, I, I could see some of these cards actually going up today. That's why I've held on to the Mudricks that I bought in the low 500s earlier on in the week. Um, I bought a Goretzko for 1.2 million, literally just a little bit ago. And he's 1.3 million, now 137. He had a really big spike. But that's a card that I think um, has gone up, could go up some more today. Maybe Foden goes up, maybe Salah. Marco Royce is already up like 10,000 coins. He was 180. That was a really low price. He's already started to go up. I know people are investing in a guy like Jonathan David. Adair Militao could be one who goes up 700K. This is like the lowest that he's been. Yesterday, he was up at 730. Now he's 700K. I'm not going to say it's a crazy market rise that we have in coming today, guys. I'm just saying I could see prices slowly going up a bit on some of those rare most meta cards even from team one of foot birthday but specifically from team two the cards that people want to try and buy out before they go out of packs i think there's some opportunity there so that's where i would watch the market today after rewards um, i'm going to be trading in and out of that a little bit and hoping to see a bit of a rise of course, I know we still have the promo incoming of Golasso, and there could be some more panic depending on who's leaked, what other news may be coming out about this promo, but I'm actually a little bit gung-ho on the market. It's why I've got a lot of coins invested in cards is because I think there will be good opportunities to sell cards today after rivals rewards as people go and get those coins. Not everybody's taking tradable, but enough people are taking tradable, it seems, after last week to see the market push up now final day of ultimate birthday we got one last player sbc to go it's thankfully not a twin sbc so we know it might actually have a shot at being good we are getting a leah williamson arsenal women's player sbc and you know what to be completely honest i think she is a center back i'm gonna search her card up right now because i'm not 100 percent sure leah williamson oh yeah 85 rated i'm pretty sure she's a center back right center back she's got long ball pass anticipate jockey and bruiser on her base card she's five foot seven three three um okay we need some aerial action in here we need a lot of play styles added but hopefully this is a halfway decent sbc for leah williamson of course arsenal links could be very good english links too five foot seven is a bit tough for a center back not going to beat around the bush for sure there but uh really good defending stats um yeah we'll see what this card is like when it get released actually really good passing stats too for a center back so that's not bad maybe a boost to the weak foot making her five star weak foot that is our last ultimate birthday player sbc and again for me it's a day where i'm still opening packs like the 84 times fives and the 8320s and everything from objectives I'm still opening it because I would rather either craft a player SBC that is out right now, work on an icon of SBC that I would be crafting towards as well. Um, you could wait until the Al Owayrin SBC tomorrow on Friday. Of course, that is expected to drop then, and, and that'll be a big one. If it is priced correctly, if it's juiced correctly, right, in terms of stats, um, you could wait for that too. But 
I think I'm going to start doing stuff today and keep going right now because of the birthday grind and how good it is. Today's also, I believe, the last day for the cup. And I think a lot of our birthday objectives are going to start going away. Like the champs bonus is still around. The daily play is still around too. I don't understand that, but I'm all for it because I love the packs that you get from it. Uh, St. Patrick's Day has got a couple days left, but the cup got a couple days left of the cup. That's it. And then last day, if you're going to try to finish Savernier, um, wow, I should do this because that's just squad battles. Win five squad battles for 500 XP. Sign me up. Give me an 88 rated fodder card. That's at least five, five. Yeah, I should probably do that. Anyways, um, that's going to be expiring soon, so make sure you get that done. I have not even thought about this Kolomani. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have done this, but wow, there's a lot of XP in there too. Goodness, I got to do some of this while I'm doing my Evos. Um, and speaking of Evos as well, we're getting now down towards not quite the end, but some of these birthday Evos like the um, two-footed, what is it called? Two-footed boost or something two footed attack this evo's got one day left to put a card in it and i just spent i literally spent like three hundred thousand coins to put a couple of evos i started secret stuff for my jesus fedeta and i started two footed attack for richarlison so i'm on the evo train grind oh i also paid a uh, hundred thousand coins to put alessandrini into the jack of all trades evo evo this is the alessandrini card that i'm going to come out working with it's going to be insane i chose this one over the other birthday magic evo card because i think the first touch plus in the box with five star this card's going to be broken as ever and i'm so excited to use him once he's fully upgraded i'm going to try to get him done i used him just a little bit ago while playing uh rivals and man he is him he is so good he's an absolute beast wish it would show the stats on the card but I'm excited for Evos. I know that that hype might be ending a little bit. And of course, if we're heading into a promo where it's going to be Evos based around icons and heroes, I'm not going to expect anything good. Uh, but I will say it might be worth a shot. Just shouting out. It might be worth a shot if you were trying to invest in Evos. Maybe you try to stock a couple of like base heroes in your club um, that are like discard value. Maybe even for some of like the UCL heroes. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, who's a really cheap UCL hero? All I can think of is Dudek. And, of course, they don't do goalkeeper SBCs. But UCL heroes like these, maybe they're going to allow us to evolve some of these cards here pretty soon. Might be worth for a discard guy stocking one in the club. You never know, right? Maybe Schneider or not Schneider. Maybe Solskar. Maybe Risa fits an Evo and makes their price go up. Or Demarcus Beasley. If they're pretty much close to mid price, if you got a lot of coins, that's just something to think about, all right, as we uh, head into a promo that's going to be about icons and heroes. Oh, also, 93 Stanway, insane card, unbelievable card with that ping pass plus. I mean, between her and Sawa, it's making me be like, I mean, Sawa, I think, might still be better than Stanway, but Stanway is incredible for 80,000 coins. What a card she is. Um, and then Shomeni as well. I'm liking Shomeni. He's solid. He's very good in defense, and I'm glad that I play him as a stay-back DM. I feel like I have to use him a little bit because of how much the SBC was, but he's definitely a big presence, kind of like Hullet, but no cap. Hullet is still clear. Hullet is still clear. Very expensive SBC, but just the stuff this guy does in game is unbelievable. Um, and and Shomeni's good, but I think Hullet is still that guy. Rolfo is insane. Reese James, I'm liking him too. He's pretty good. Um, and yeah, the team right now is feeling very saucy. Werner's cooking as always. This Alessandrini is just different. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch up on that goal ratio. He was in a lot of like other champs games, a super sub earlier on in the year. And my Joao Felix is almost done being evoed as well. So that's the current team that we are rocking with. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's the video for today. Good luck with your rivals rewards. I will see you guys on stream today for the last day of ultimate birthday. We'll hit some more player picks, open an 83 times 20. And see if we have any last minute luck on our side for Ultimate Birthday Team 2. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. Peace out.